Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Sorry, but my electricity went out. Suddenly, I was I was about to speak, but <laughs> the electricity went off. Okay, but luckily it was just for a couple of minutes. If you see me disappear again, it's because probably there is a storm coming and then uh, just wait for me and I'll try to connect again, okay? Okay, don't right. worry. Okay, 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 just... Okay, we're gonna have this ready. Okay, good. Well, how was the day, good? Excellent, you, okay. Did you go to work Excellent. today? Very well, teacher. Yes. yes. Oh, you I went to work? I went to work today. Okay. And how was the traffic? Uh, yeah, easy. It's not too complicated. Okay. It's for the hour. All right. Good. Good. Okay. And the rest? Ricardo, you went to work too? Yes. I went to work and the traffic was uh, complicated. Okay. Yeah, th there are some areas, right? There are, there are some areas which are a little bit complicated. I went out this morning too, and you know, Los Chorros was in the going up, it was a cow, and coming down, when I was coming down, it was another cow. So it was, I mean, the traffic was a little bad, you know, a little, like I said, uh, too much traffic in this area, okay? But I think it's because they are fixing the road, and they are also fixing the road on the uh, from Quetzaltepec to Pico, right? So I think that is complicated in this area. Okay, but but we survived. Okay, that's a good thing. Okay, let's see. What we have for today. We were talking yesterday about the present perfect versus simple past, right? Simple past. Uh -huh. Okay, using questions with uh, present perfect. And then continue the conversation using questions in simple past. Okay, like for example, um, have you ever have you ever danced a let's see lambada, for example? Have you ever danced lambada? No, I haven't. Ah, look at Nini is, is smiling. I think he has. That's <laughs> <laughs> when I was <laughs> Ah, I can see that in your face. Yeah. Okay, so you have, you have. Okay. Yes, I have. Did, did you did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Um, not too much because it uh, was in a a party, but okay. um, like um, what do you say, concurso? It was a contest. There was a contest. A contest, and yeah. and I I don't. I don't how to dance, <laughs> okay. and I was around ten years old. <laughs> okay, good. Well, but at that, at that age, at that age, we are more more flexible, right? Because you know, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> dancing lambada requires a lot of flexibility, you know. Because if I try to do that now, uh, uh, no. <laughs> I'll die, you know, and I stay there. No, no more. No more. No. <laughs> Just one move, and that's it. Okay. okay. Good. That's nice. Okay. Um. What else? Have you ever? Uh, let's see. Have you ever uh, listened to salsa? Anybody? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I okay. love dance. You, you love to dance salsa, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Good. And when did you first listen to that kind of music, Anna? Uh, in my case, for example, when I cleaned my house, oh, okay. I put then um, for relaxing and um, I cleaned all my house. Okay. So then, uh, but in the first time, the very first time, do you remember the first time that you, that you listened to salsa? When was it? When you were in the school? Mm, when, when I, when I was a... Uh, Teenager. Okay. Yes. In a party or in your house? In my house. Oh. I remember my brother, my older brother, okay. uh, like like it. Uh, he did. He did like it. He, li he, li salsa. he liked it. He liked it. 
he liked it uh, salsa and he listened to all day okay. salsa and it's for this reason maybe i like it <laughs> yeah maybe maybe yes you know because when i was also you know during probably you know the what 90s 80s you know it was very common to listen to well especially 90s 90s i guess you know it was very popular salsa and then uh, that's why you know I just I remember that everywhere everywhere I went, you know, uh, people were listening to this kind of music, right? And then you mm -hmm. know, and, and and the the rhythm was nice when you went to the beach, when you went to a party, when you were having a meeting with friends. So then you know, salsa was you know was always playing there. So so I guess that uh, I think it was because that there was a lot of influence, right, of salsa yes. music in those <laughs> in the nineties. That's one reason. That's one reason. Okay, very good. Uh, what other question? Can you help me with a question? For example, have you ever, uh, let's see, uh, have you ever climbed a mountain or a volcano? Yes, or a volcano? Yes, yes, you have, Ada. Okay, good. Yes, I have a San Salvador volcano. Okay. When did you do that? When did you When did you climb it? Um, I remember. Two years ago. Two years ago, okay. Did you go alone or did you go with somebody else? With my family, my husband and my daughter. Okay, good. Did they like it? Yes, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, okay. And how, what was their opinion? What did they say? Um, because the, because I could see the naturalist. The, the nature you could see the, the nature, nature. Mm -hmm. and the flowers and the some animals okay were you tired were you tired when you got to the top um, i think no but in this moment i was I was thinner. I was thinner. I was thinner. Okay. But now I think yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Now now you wouldn't you wouldn't dare to climb up. Huh? No se atrevería. Yes. You would you wouldn't dare. Yes, but 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 more but it's slower. More slow, more slow. No, it's slower, it's slower. It's slower, it's okay. slower. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, thank you, Anna. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, good. Anybody else? You know, let's see. Uh, have you ever, uh, let's see, have you ever swum in the ocean? Not in a swimming, swimming pool, right? I mean, in the ocean. No, I haven't. No, you haven't. Okay. Why not, Diego? Because I don't like to swim, but I I, I, I can swim, but just in in swimming pool. Okay, good. So, and but are you are you scared of the ocean? Are you scared of the sea? Well, I swim in a, in a I swam in a in a ocean, but but uh, it's it's an accident. Uh, it was an accident because my my sister fell down in the in the in the se cayó en el agua fell down in the water and I I I go for her. You rescue her. Yes. Okay. Good. You were you know like uh, what was the name uh, the name of those guys? Remember? There was. They were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You were Baywatch in that day. Diego, Diego Bay, Baywatch Sosa, they call you now, right? Yes, it's the same. Uh, okay. All right, it's nice. Kind of... Okay, good. Uh, another question. Have you ever uh, have you ever seen a shark that very close to you or close to you? Yes, I have. Yes, you have. Okay, yeah. where? Where did you see it? In Belize. Oh yes, in Belize, right? And what was the sensation? 
at, at the beginning we were scared because we don't we didn't know if if they could attack us mm -hmm. but then we stayed there in in the because we went to the blue blue hole okay mm -hmm. Agujero Azul. yes mm -hmm. blue hole mm -hmm. we were swimming with the with dolphins and and sharks okay uh, who has ever been to uh what is this name i in Roatan, i guess right where yeah. you can where you can swim with the jaguar i have seen some pictures of friends that they swim with uh with jaguars you know, in the i think it's it, it must be on, on the beach right that they are uh, but I don't. But I don't know. I never been there. But I have seen some. Yeah, the place is named Coatsen Hole in Roatan, but okay, probably. Uh, yeah, there is a, do I don't know how do you say res reserve. Reserve. Uh -huh. you reserve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there are some some animals, jaguars, uh, monkeys, perezosos. Okay. okay. Yes. So then it must be it must be in that area, right? When you have this kind of uh, yes, because the the I have seen pictures, you know, with the people swimming with the leopards and they are touching them and playing with them. Okay, so and they have and the sloth, but I never seen a sloth. The perezoso, the sloth, I well in in the pictures, right? I don't know. And then, uh, but I have seen dolphins and this kind of animal. It must be a nice place, right? It must be. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for. Okay. Uh, who has ever gone fishing? No fishing like this. No. Huh? No, Nobody? No. Ricardo? No, I haven't. You haven't? No, you haven't? Okay, good. Nobody? Okay. Uh, have you ever, uh, Alexia, have you ever tried the bungee jump? In Costa Rica. Okay, you did, Fernando. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So you are you like adventure. How was it? It's wonderful. I I work in tourism. That's why. Okay. Good. And I have to travel, but now I you can. I can't. I'm suffering. <laughs> okay. That's also. Ah, yes, that's the slow. Yes, Please, that's the slow. The, 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 the men who have the the blue the blue hole <laughs> that's the the three three toe right yeah it has three toe it's a three toe slow uh -huh. yeah. right okay good so do you travel often in, in america or, or just in central america when i was studying i went to south america oh, okay and in this, for I, I don't know, the, the last five years I have been traveled in I have Central, been travel, I have been traveling? Central America and Mexico. Oh, ah, okay, that's good. Mexico has a lot of places to visit, right? For tourism. Yeah. Yes, I think it's, it's an amazing place to, for tourism, right? There are nice, nice areas. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, uh, another question, have you ever, uh, let me see, have you ever played chess? Have you ever played chess? No game? No, I haven't. No, you haven't? It's I don't of, like it. Uh-huh, it seems like, to be true. I like it's a bit boring. Laura, Laura, okay, it's bo for you, Dio, it's yeah. boring. And you, Laura, what do you think yes. about it? If it's a, if I have ever I have played, played chess, chess. Yes, okay. I have mm -hmm. I have played chess because okay. it's a good game for for developing your mind. Okay. Yes, for developing your mind, you know, for exercising. Yes, you know, this uh, actually playing chess is like going to the gym, right? But for your for your brain, yes, it was your mind oh. ex, your mind exercises. You have to okay. you have to think you have to think a lot. Uh, okay, it's a okay. good 
<laughs> yes, it's, a, it's an, an analogy, right? You go to the gym for the for the muscles, but ah. the chest is for the muscles in your brain, right? So your, <laughs> your brain grows. Yes. yes. Okay, okay, good. Thank you. Okay, fine. Who else? Anybody else? Okay, now who wants uh, one volunteer to ask a question? Have you ever? One volunteer. Me? Okay, Me Ricardo. Go, go, go. Thank you. Have you have you ever cried in the motorcycle? Okay. Anybody? Have you ever ridden a motorcycle? Anybody can answer. In my case, no, I haven't. No, you haven't. Okay. No, I haven't. No, you haven't. No, I haven't. No, you haven't. Okay. Here no, we I have haven't. one. Javier. Javier. Uh, when did you start riding a motorcycle? When I was teenager. When you were a? I, I was a teenager. When you were a teenager. Okay, good. And did you did you do it because you like it or because you had to work? Um, um, I like it very much, but uh, when I got married, I I. I don't um, use. You uh, didn't. You didn't use it anymore. Yes. I, okay. I, yes. Okay. Your wife. Your wife said no more motorcycle, Javier. Yes. And you obediently say, okay, no problem. You okay. Have to decide between the motorcycle and me. <laughs> yes. You made a. You made a difficult decision. Yeah. Javier. Oh, oh yes. Uh, was it, was it was it difficult to decide? No. Okay, no. good. <laughs> okay. No. Wife first. Yes, the okay. family first. That's correct. That's good. Excellent. Okay, perfect. Very good. Okay, another question. Have you ever another volunteer? Gladys, ask the question. Have you ever? Um. Um, have you ever uh, cooked um, cakes? Okay, have you ever, in this case, you can, uh, instead of cook, better use to bake. Okay, bake. Have you ever bake. baked a cake? Bake. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, anybody? Cake. Thank you, Gladys. Have you ever baked a cake? Anybody can answer. Ladies? Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, you, huh? yes, yes, I make it. It's similar. It's like a uh, flan. Mm -hmm. Is I bake uh, a flan with uh, with uh, I don't know how can I say uh, flan de caramelo with uh, caramel, Car caramel, caramel. Flan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Excellent. So, do you like cooking? Yeah. Okay, good. Perfect. That's nice. Okay, another question, people. Have you ever? I have a question. Okay, Javier, go ahead. Have you ever ridden a horse? Okay. Well, in my case, I have. Anyone? Yes, I have. Okay, Anna? Yes, uh -huh. I have. How was the experience? Yes, okay. It's a beautiful experience for me okay. because I remember I ridden the horse when I was a girl mm -hmm. and my aunt, my uncle mm -hmm. um, touched me that uh, ridden uh, that taught me taught uh, me uh -huh. uh, ridden that to, horse. to ride a horse yes it's a beautiful experience okay. but when touch I remember when learned that I, it was difficult because uh, I, when I was a girl, uh, my toe, it maybe one, one mirror to 20 centimeters. Mm -hmm. And it's difficult, but when try to again, is a beautiful experience. Now okay. I love it. 
<laughs> you love it. Okay. So you yeah. felt that your your height was too short for too tall. Yeah. Too short. Yes. yes. And the, and the yes. horse was high. Was yes. Big um, horse. Yes. That. Um, how do you say carrera de cinta? It was a uh, uh, ribbons, ribbon, ribbons race. Oh, okay. Ribbons. My uncle uh, realized different um, ribbons in a town, and it's for this reason he uh, told me okay. that ribbon that more, that horse to ride a horse. <laughs> ah, okay. Yes. Did you win? Yes, when I was. Uh, 15 years. <laughs> Five years after. Five yes. Years after. <laughs> okay. All right. But, you know, but at least, you know, you won. Okay. That's good. Okay. Great. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Another question. Have you ever? Claire, Mariela, Israel? Yes, I have a question. Okay, Mariela. Go ahead. Uh, have you ever drunk carao? Have you ever? Drunk carao? Uh -huh. Carao, carao, refreshment. Yes. yes. Okay. Questions, uh, answers? I don't like this one. <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't yet. The smell. I have. Oh I, have no. an ex I had an experience and I don't like. I didn't like. Oh, really? Why? How was the experience? Tell I don't us. know because the, the, I don't know, olor. The smell. The smell. The smell. The smell. It's disgusting. It was disgusting for me. Yes, you know, uh, the first time I tried the carao also, I didn't like it. But after the... Uh, it's medicine. Uh -huh, but they prepare it also with milk. Yes, with milk. Yes, uh -huh. really. Uh -huh. milk. And then, it's uh, delicious. You know, yes, really. Delicious. Milk, milk and carao, you know, it's a nice combination. I like that uh, one. Yes. And that one. I would know, like to prepare something. Okay, yes, try, try, you know, if you, now, if you probably search in internet, you can find the, the, the mixture, right, the, the, the recipe, how to oh. prepare carao and, and, and the milk, okay, but it's, I mean, I remember it was. That's really, a good idea to, yes, to combine it. Yes, yes, combine it. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you, Mariela, okay. All right, anybody else? Carlos, Carlos Ramos, you haven't said anything. Question, have you ever? Um, so, we we'll have uh, Yes, uh, have, you, have you ever? We we'll have uh, cooking Cakes, cakes. Cake. Uh, have you ever yeah, made? Yeah, have you ever baked a cake? Yeah. Have you ever baked a cake? Okay, that was a similar question that uh, Gladys. Okay. Okay. Have you ever made a cake? Okay. Have you ever made a cake? Have you ever baked a cake? Okay. Have you ever cooked another cake? Uh huh. Something. Yes. No, it's not. It's another no, cake. Not <laughs> okay. Yeah. Have you ever, for example, have you ever cooked? Anything special? Let's help Carlos with that question. Mm -hmm. Have you ever? I have a question. Yes, Carlos Sura. Mm -hmm. Have you ever traveled uh, Have you ever? in a, a plane? In a airplane? Have you ever? Have you ever traveled by by a airplane? By plane. Uh huh. By plane. Have you ever traveled by plane? No, I haven't. No, I yes, haven't. I have. No, I haven't. Elena, yes, I Elena, have. Elena, you say yes, I have, right? Yeah. No, I haven't. Okay. When did you travel by plane? Uh, I traveled by my my last work. Your last work. I work okay. in a uh, airline, so I I uh, travel some sometimes. Ah, okay, but you're you're not a flight attendant. No, no, no. Okay. To work in the administration office? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. And how did you feel the first time you, you, you uh, let's say, uh, that you flew on a plane? Well, the um, first time that I tr uh, traveled flew? by a flu, uh, by a 
airplane. I felt some scared but because it was my first time that I uh, made alone without uh, my family or, or a friend. So I was scared because uh, I, I traveled uh, to Colombia and uh, I felt scared because it was a country that I didn't know, oh. a person that I needed, I didn't know, but it was a good experience. Okay, but it was not about the airplane, it was because of the, of the place that you were going to visit, right? That, yeah, that yeah. Sensation, the sensation of the unknown. Okay? Yeah. Things that we don't know. Okay, very good. Nice. Another question with have you ever? Me, teacher. Okay, Aide, go ahead. Have you ever cooked salt chicken? Chicken soup. Chicken soup. Chicken soup. Okay, anybody else who can answer that question? Me, teacher. Yes, I have. Yes, yes have. I have. Okay. Uh, is it difficult? Okay, ah, but wait a minute. But in that question, for example, have you ever, uh, when you cook uh, chicken soup, did you buy the pieces of chicken or you kill the chicken? No, I bought the pieces of chicken. Okay. <laughs> yes. yeah. Who has ever, who has ever killed uh, chicken or hen to make a soup? No. no, I haven't. Nobody? <laughs> Ada? Yes, yes, I you kill, you kill a chicken? Yes. Okay, good. And uh, <laughs> is it difficult? No. Ah, you, you, you cut it. You cut yes. with a knife. Yes. yes. Yeah, because no. I remember in, in you know, my, my grandma is from, well, she was, she was because she passed away uh, from Usulutan. And then uh, she used to grab the, the, the hand by the neck. And you know, uh, she, twist, she twisted it and, ah, uh, exactly, poor chicken. <laughs> and then it, <laughs> when I uh, saw it, the it was, that was it. I that cried. Was, uh, <laughs> Mariela, what did you say? When I saw this one, I cried. Yes, no, yes, <laughs> I was my grandmother. Uh huh. I used to uh, get very sad too, you know, I used to get yes. very sad. <laughs> no, uh, it, because, you know, when I, it was, you know, it was very nice because I, I remember that in the house, we used to have these uh, chips. Yes. And then we grow them, we give them, we gave them food. They were like pets for us. And then oh. when we went to Zulutan and we saw our grandmother killing them, we were like, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Children used to plant the chips. I don't want to remember. Yes. <laughs> yes, they had us. Okay, good. So then this is, you know, the, well, talking about the past. I guess that we have practiced, oh, we have practiced. Uh, some uh, some verbs. Yes, Javier. Have you ever eaten frog legs? Uh, frog legs. Oh yes, that. Uh -huh. uh, no, no, no. I haven't. Who has ever eaten frog legs? Nice no, enough. I haven't. No, you haven't. No, I haven't. No, no I haven't. They say they say Javier. I don't know. That they taste like chicken, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. They say that it's similar to chicken. Similar. Probably. Mm -hmm. Meat chicken. Yes. Uh huh. That's what I. That's what I've heard, but I. I don't know. Okay. The thing is that sometimes you know I think it's in our, in our mind, right? When they say that, okay, oh, you uh, know, frogs legs. Oh my God. You know, it's like when you go to Japan and they offer dog. Would you eat dog in Japan? No? No. No? Yes. Why not? No, because we are, I, in my case, I have the idea that a dog is like a little, little brother, maybe. <laughs> yes. Now it's part of the family, right? Yeah, it's a part, it's a part of the family. Now we consider dog, you know, part of the family. Yeah, because, you know, but they have a different concept of the dog, right? And they have farms. You know, in Japan, they have farms where they, like, like here in Salvador, we have farm for porks. And then, we, and they, they, they grow the animals and then they, they sell them and they eat them, right? So then the same, they, they do the same in, in Japan, but 
just the idea, you know, to eat dog. And it's very expensive, they say. Well, the last time, about five years ago, maybe or more, a friend told me that he went to Japan and the price was like 30 or $35 uh, a dish, a plate of dog. So it's, it's expensive, right? It's not cheap. Now probably it's more expensive. Okay, good. Then, uh, well, this is the present perfect and simple past. Let's see what we have now in the... Okay, this is the video that we watched yesterday. Yeah. And here we have some knowledge. Okay, can, do you have this in your computer, in your platform? Yeah. Okay, so probably... I think it's the, the, the same... Yeah, it's the same, uh, right, that we read yesterday, right? Idea. Yes, it's this one, yes. So did this one too? Yes, that's right. Yes, because it's too small. Okay, here we have the other one. Okay, now we have the, the sequence of events talking about present or past. Okay, Nineveh, can you do me a favor and read this lesson objective here, please? Okay. Sequence, sequence elders are used to have described a progression of events, often used in recipes. Recipes? Recipes or instructions. Sequence elders such as first, then, next, after that, and finally. Contain information about the order of action and create, create natural transition in reading. In this lesson from English, teachers Joe Sanz practice describing recipes in English using sequence albers. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Okay, good. Okay, if you see here, we have recipes. Okay, recipes are like the instructions for cooking right when you want to cook something new you search you have well some in some cases some people have books or the or now you can also do the search in internet if you want to cook something they give you the ingredients the list of ingredients that you are going to use to prepare the food and the step-by-step -step instructions to cook and to prepare a nice dish or some good food, okay? And here, for example, we have some words that can help us to, uh, let's say, uh, organize our ideas, right? For example, we say first, uh, you take the lemon, then you take the next, and next, after that, and finally. Okay, so these are, you know, sequence uh, adverbs that can help you not to organize your ideas. Okay, then here we go. Okay, so here, what you see here, the surf coming in this, uh, what they have tried to, uh, let's say, uh, enhance here, is what you need, the, the, ingredient. the ingredients, okay? Three tablespoons peanut butter, banana, so mush, and then a slices of bread, tablespoon of butter, melted, okay? So then we'll see what we have, okay? Now listen, how about first, let me check. Hello everyone. At the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. 
In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs okay, are... Maybe. I love this snack. Finally, put after that, and cover the pan. Okay, now we're going to try to identify which one... This is really on. easy. Okay. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, Turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. Okay, what are they talking about? Uh, popcorn. Popcorn. The popcorn. popcorn. Okay, the popcorn. Okay. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. Which one is that? Guacamole. Guacamole. Okay, delicious guacamole, right? Yes. Yes. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. That's a? Toast bagel. Toast bagel. Bagel. Toasted bagel. Toasted bagel. Yes, that's correct. Now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes. But you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence adverb, we use then, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter and finally fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. And what we basically did was that we organized our ideas and we explained in this case a food recipe. We use sequence adverbs to do this. So as I mentioned, we use first, 
we use then, we use next, we use after that, and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word, right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together, then toast the slices of bread, then spread the mixture on the toast, then put the sandwich in a pan with butter, then try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that, so therefore we use different words to explain. And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first, should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of recipe. Finally, should always come at the very end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then next and after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together, next toast the slices of bread, after that so they could be interchangeable. There's no rule that says that uh, then needs to comes after first. You can use those three interchangeably. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your favorite food recipe. And I want you to write down all the ingredients that you're going to need. So for example, we have, in this case, three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana mash, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, and we want that to be melted. And then you use uh, those um, sequence adverbs in order to explain your idea. So for example, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and we use finally. So I would like for you to do something similar, but explaining your favorite food recipe. Okay, this is the one that we're going to use, right? Which snack does this recipe describe? So we're going to be uh, talking about a... Okay, we're going to be talking about snacks, okay? For example, what are some snacks that we can, in general, right? For, uh, that we can uh, prepare at home. For example, uh, a sandwich, right? We can prepare a cloud sandwich, can we? Yes, right, that's yes, not really complicated. Okay, what is another snack that we can... Uh... Nachos. What? Nachos. Nachos, yes, nachos, right, nachos. No, with chili and meat, right? So that's a delicious one. Uh -huh. What else? I like uh, tortillas with quesillo. Okay, that's true, that's <laughs> one, like, like the gringas. Yes, like gringas. <laughs> yes, right, you just, yes, just fold it, just fold them, and then we have one, okay? Yes? Yes, and fried or, or, or toasted with um, a salsa. Yeah. Fried or toasted, yes, fried or toasted. Yeah. Chil chilaquiles too, right? Yes, chilaquiles, <laughs> with hot salsa. <laughs> and with hot sauce, yes, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. Tomato sauce, you know. Okay, that's another one. What else? What is another snack you know that you can prepare that we can prepare? French okay. fries. French fries, French. yes. French fries is another one. Okay. What else? Sometimes I like to, to prepare for Friday or Saturday night sausages. Salchiches. Sausages, yes, sausages. Huh? Sausages. With, with cheese and I don't know, different kinds of cheese. Oh, different kinds of cheese, uh -huh. ah, okay, and sausages. And you mix yeah. them all, and you mix them all. Yes. Okay, and then a, a beer. <laughs> yeah, the beer before, because oh. I don't mix <laughs> like me. beer with food. No, yeah. really? Yeah, okay. I, I, drink, I, drink, I drink first and I, I eat. And you eat after. Okay, good. That's well, that's a sound, you know, like a good, good strategy. Good strategy. You can drink beer with uh, 
Nacho Diana. Yeah. With Len. <laughs> it is better. Now we can. So now we can. Uh, probably next month. <laughs> Nacho, <laughs> Nacho Diana con, with uh, hot sauce. Yeah, with yeah. hot sauce. Yes, that's good. Hot sauce is good. Or with soya sauce too. And that's the taste. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. What else? What is another snack? Uh, vegetable vegetable uh, toast. Vegetarian or, toast. Or fried. Okay. Good. What else? Jelly. Which one, Ricardo? Jelly. Oh, jelly. Gelatina. The yellow. Uh -huh, the yellow is another one that you, no, no. we can try, okay. yes. What else? Or fried ripper. Dips? Uh -huh. Like what, Ana? Ana? Empanadas. Okay, that, like with beans, that, like dumplings, uh -huh, like yes. dumplings, uh -huh. dumplings, dumplings with similar, oh. similarly pastelitos, right? Because they are dumplings. Yes. Yes. Also, uh -huh. also rice with milk. Oh yes, yeah, rice with milk. That's another one. Okay. Rice so, with yes. milk. Or to prepare the rice with milk, you need the rice, milk, and cinnamon, and yes. sugar. And sure, yeah. only sure. it's very easy ah, and water and water, and water. yes, water. Right, so you <laughs> yes, and um, pepper is very easy and um, pepper and um, pepper, also, right? Yes, pepper, uh, rice, milk, water, cinnamon. Okay, yeah. good. good, good, good. What else? Ginger cheese, um, which one have you? Had? Finger cheese. Oh, finger. Finger cheese. Yes. That's mm -hmm. another one, right? You put the pieces of cheese and then you you uh, cover them with a special a special oh. cover, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, like the chicken. Okay, what else? Another one? Fruity mm -hmm. fruity. Buffalo wings. Right? Buffalo wings. Okay, buffalo wings. Okay, chicken. So these are little snacks, right? Okay, what else? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I like nuegados. Ah, nuegados. Papa, nuegados. Nuegados is a. Uh, well, who can who can prefer nuegados? Me. Uh, <laughs> Ada, you can. Yes. Yes. I, you can I cannot. You cannot. I okay, Ada, what is the, can you tell us what do we have to do first? Um, my first. To make, uh, to make, uh, to make megados. When, my, uh, uh, when I eat it? my mold, mm -hmm. um, when I was a girl, uh -huh. the we... ingredients are yuca. Okay. And maybe you know, a they, call, they call it they call it cassava in English, right? Cassava, the yuca. Ah, okay. Cassava uh, and little salt. Um I don't remember. Um it's like the brown sugar candy, right? El dulce. Yes, but um, the ingredients are forget um oil. 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 Um, the process is very easy because only I don't know. Molet. First, 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 grind. Okay, grind. Grind the the yoka. The cassava, huh? The cassava, and then you put in the stove uh, the pan with. With it has, oil, it has to be smashed, right? Smashed, like, like uh, yes, uh, a lot of a lot of uh, oil, and when then with a uh, a bigger spoon, you put the cassava mm -hmm. in the oil and fry. And the then, final, and finally fry it. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then serve it. Then and then serve. And eat. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I forget the honey. 
<laughs> yes, uh -huh. yes, that's what I told you. That it's like the honey. The, the honey, the brown, it's like the brown, brown sugar, right? Candy. It's that's uh -huh. the, the atado, right? Something like that. And yet, atado de dulce. Yes, it's like the brown. It's like Only brown that. Sugar. Ah, atado de dulce with cinnamon. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, uh -huh, with cinnamon. cinnamon. Yes, definitely. You put in the stove in the, I don't remember, oh yeah. On the pot, in a pot. In, in, pot. in the pot. And with, with water. Okay. And I think uh, in the stove uh, and esperar. Wait. And wait uh, then boil. Uh -huh. Wait Fair. until it boils. It boils. Uh -huh. wait, uh -huh. wait until it boils. Okay. Wait, wait until and boil. Mm -hmm. Oils, it boils. Only okay. that. <laughs> All right. Only that. And then, <laughs> and then you remember something else. And then okay. enjoy. <laughs> yes, and then enjoy, enjoy typical, the food. Uh, some typical food from El Salvador, right? Uh, enjoy the, the typical dish. Yes. Now I'm hungry now. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Anybody else who wants to share something? Anyway, you want um, to share? In covering okay. all. Right uh -huh. In covering all, teacher. In? In covering. In covering, uh huh. That's a kind um, of milk. How do you say avena? The mush. Moss. Mush, uh huh. Mush. Yes. In covering mush. Uh huh. What is that? Um, like? The fear is. Uh, prepared with meal and mm -hmm. depend the how much do yes. you want and um, that the meal is in polvo and that, uh, powder powder pie powder and pie powder powder mm -hmm. and later you add the cinnamon in cinnamon cinnamon in, in raja in pieces huh? in pieces in pieces, in pieces. Okay. and you add the meal and later the add the i don't remember azúcar sugar <laughs> sugar sugar and you wait the kerba. Wait until it boils. Until we boil it. It it boils. And it boil. Boil. And if finally you serve it. Okay. In the chat, it say it. It, it, it boils. Is hasta que, right here. Yes, boils until it boils. Oh, okay. Okay, good. What else? Thank you, Aide. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh -huh, the oats, like the oats meal. Uh huh. Can I say my recipe? Yes, go ahead. Okay, first you have to prepare the mass with the flour. Then okay. you can add sauce. You can add sausages maybe or or meat i don't know how ja, uh, jam jamon yeah the ham ham uh -huh. ham, ham. ham and different cheeses okay you can uh, if you like i i i forgot how do you say hongos the uh, mushrooms, Mush, mushrooms. And then you you put in the oven? In the oven or in the microwave? No, in the oven because you have to toast. You have to toast. Okay. And then in the, to in the toaster? 
Yeah. Because we have the toaster, the oven, and the microwave. You can use the toaster and or, or you can use the oven because okay. depending of, of the of your like because if you if you prefer toast in, in my case I prefer toast mm -hmm. and okay. at the end you can you can cook in slices. Okay. And what is the name of that uh, dish? That? What is the name of that uh, dish? Ah, uh, <laughs> I cooked a pizza yesterday. Ah, it's a pizza? Uh, okay, pizza. Only, only with sausages and cheese. With, you have to prepare, first you have to prepare the, the mass with the flour. Okay, yes, the flour. Okay. You, uh, then when you have the, the mass, you add the, the sauce. Mm -hmm. Uh, ham, uh, sausages, meat in pieces, and okay. you can add onions, uh, pepper, and tomato if you want. Okay. Then you add three or four kind of cheeses, and then you put it in the oven. Okay, so this is dough. Dough. Yes, sir. What you see there in the in the chat, dough is the mass. Okay, for example, when you prepare, huh, that's the mass that you prepare for pizza, is dough. And you prepare, okay. you prepare the dough, then on top of that, you put all the other ingredients. Okay, okay. sure. Good. Uh, yes. Have you ever tried the Mataniños hot dog? <laughs> uh, the hot, oh, yes, of course, I did. Yes, you know, they put mortadella, right? <laughs> yes, and then they put some... Uh, Yes, I remember those in the panel chile, I remember you know, near the school. Yes. yes, I tried those. After that, you know, no, they, no, they sausages create. Sausages uh -huh. is delicious. <laughs> yes. And then uh, after that, they they began with uh, the choris, right? Now it's the oh, choris, right. right? But before, it was the mataniños. Yes, I remember those. And they were very cheap. And they were good. And I didn't die. Okay, so they didn't kill kids. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay, good, good. What else? Well, you know how to prepare a hot dog. First, you have to, what do we do? Toast uh, the bread and then uh, fry the, the sausage. The sausage. Yes. Then uh, you spread. A spread what? Mayonnaise, mustard, what else? Ketchup. Tomato. And, and tomato, and, well, and then uh, in the ketchup, right? So then you put the yeah. you put the, the sausage in the bread, right? Then you put this the mustard, this mayonnaise, and ketchup. Liquid and cheese. cheese. And liquid cheese. Guess or liquid? Uh, liquid cheese. cheese. Uh -huh. There is one that say cheese whiz, right? Like the cheese whiz. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, yes. If you like it, you can also do that, right? Yes. For example, you know, in the United States, they, they don't have too many things. You know, sometimes just uh, the, the bread, the sausage, and then they and ketchup. Very simple, so very practical, okay? But here in El Salvador, yeah. you know, we put everything, right, that we have yeah. in your hand, right? You say cucumber, pepino, then we find French fries, whatever. You put and then you have a lot of uh, pickles, right? Like the fever. I have seen, for example, in, in gas stations, sometimes they add like Pringles. Uh -huh, yes, uh -huh. exactly, right? So then at the end, you know, probably the hot dog is like this, but with all the ingredients, looks it's like, like a hamburger. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a hamburger. Okay, good. Then, uh, well, look, for tomorrow, please prepare. Uh, we're going to talk about things not only food, okay? First, think about something easy, how to prepare using first, uh, then after, next, and finally, okay? Or, for example, in order to, for example, if you want to change the tire of a car, what do you have to do first? First, get the jack, right? Then put the jack in the right place, then lift the car, oh, no, 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 first, and you have to uh, let it untighten the nuts 
okay, and go like that. Okay, we're going to explain how to do other things using sequence adverbs. Okay, uh, okay. tomorrow we have normal classes. Okay, so then uh, I, I asked in the office today. Okay, they don't have a father. Okay, <laughs> so then we're going to. So we're going to uh, to have a normal class at eight o'clock. Okay. So okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Good night. Uh, five minutes. See you tomorrow. Oh, see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Good, Good night. night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.